Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kiara Nicole, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I curl these straight crochet braids. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out first. So for this style, I'm using Hot Rollers by Remington. The exact ones I'm using will be linked in the description box. The rollers come in three sizes. For this style today, I'm using the medium and large rollers. The purple roller that you see me using here in the front are the medium size rollers. I'm just taking small to medium size sections and I'm rolling the hair from the bottom. The hot rollers come with color coded pins so that you can secure them in place. You can determine how you want your curls to come out depending on the size rollers that you use and also the number of rollers used. So I decided for today that I wasn't going to use any of the small rollers so I'm starting with the medium rollers in the front. Um, I didn't want the curls in the front of my head to be too tight so that's why I decided to go with the medium size rollers. Also as you can start to see all of my rollers are around the perimeter of my head. Rolling it this way will make the roots of my hair much straighter and the curl will be more in the bottom half of the hair. So the Remington Hot Rollers come with a total of 20 rollers. So for this style, I ended up using a total of 14 rollers. I used 8 of the purple medium size rollers and I used 6 of the large pink rollers in the back. So this is what it looks like once I'm all done. At this point, you'll just let the rollers sit for about 10 or 15 minutes to let the curls set. After the rollers have cooled down, it's time to take them down. I like to roll the rod in the opposite direction that I installed it to keep the curl intact. As you can see, you end up with this beautiful curl. As I mentioned earlier, because of the way I installed these rollers, my hair is not curled from root to tip. And that's the way that I wanted it to be. I wanted the curls to almost look like I curled it with a curling iron. And as you can see, these curls are coming out so pretty. I mean, just look at this curl. So from here, you just want to repeat this same process to remove the rollers. You want to unroll them in the opposite direction that you installed them. So this is what it looks like once all of the rollers are removed. And now it's time to separate. So I really wasn't sure how much I wanted to separate the hair at first because I was afraid I was going to mess them up and make them too frizzy. But listen, I think the more you separate the hair, the better it looks. Just take your time and separate the curls where the hair naturally wants to separate. The style starts to come together as you separate and fluff the hair to your liking. What I love most about these crochet braids are that they are so versatile. You can literally wear this hair in different ways. I know a lot of the crochet brands come in a variety of curl patterns, but there's something about being able to get the hair exactly how you want that I really love. So this is what the curls are looking like. I think these curls look really natural, and I think the ombre really adds that extra pop. So now I'm just taking a comb just to smooth the roots of my hair and to get rid of any separation that may have occurred from installing the hot rollers. Continue to separate and fluff to your liking. So you may come across a curl that didn't come out exactly the way you want it. You can choose to recurl it or you can just leave it like I'm going to do. Anyway y'all, this is style number one and I mean the hair speaks for itself. The color, the curls, the texture is just everything to me. I know y'all really love the straight look, but this is probably my favorite way to wear these crochet braids. Okay, so now we're going to move on to style number two. If you remember from my installation video, I did those perimeter braids where I did the invisible part along my hairline. So for this style, I'm going to do two flat twists to see how that looks pulled back. So I'm just taking a small section in the front, flat twisting it, and securing it with a bobby pin. Because I added some crochet hair along my hairline, it's pretty easy to conceal the braids in the front. So now you just want to repeat that on the opposite side and secure the twist with a bobby pin. 
And here we have style number two. This is good if you want to change this curly style up and pull the hair away from your face. You can fluff the flat twist to your liking and apply edge control as well. Alright guys, so what do you think of this curly crochet style? Be sure to let me know down in the comments and don't forget to leave all of your crochet questions down below as I'll be answering them in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.